and Julie TV where we talk about everything and when I mean everything I mean like my first pregnancy update I know all of y'all have been like wondering if I was gonna do updates and if I was gonna um you know just like share my journey or whatever with y'all and of course I am like why wouldn't I so um I'm gonna get right into it because I got a lot to talk about and I'm probably forget a lot of stuff it's late at night I'm tired ain't got no makeup on ain't got no weed in like none of that right now I am six weeks um six and a half weeks almost seven weeks i think i make uh i make a week another week every sunday um as far as my updates i'm not gonna update like um every week like i used to as a matter of fact i used to make um pregnancy updates with my son my last pregnancy but uh, i wasn't really like known like that on youtube back then so a lot of y'all mean i know and i also put the videos on private but what i'm gonna do every month um because i'm gonna do these updates monthly instead of, instead of weekly but every month i'll go ahead and um make those other videos public so that y'all can see um if y'all wanna you know if y'all curious to know um, what was going on in my other pregnancy i'll start putting those videos public as i progress in my pregnancy um so like now i'll go ahead and put whatever i have from the first time i found out i was pregnant with my son to um to six weeks or something like that if that makes sense in some six weeks but i'm not gonna do my next update until i'm probably like eight and a half weeks or something like that well, i found out i was pregnant on the, the 18th of october that was the same day me and baby came back to um we came back home from colorado i told you that in my other video so yeah i found out i was pregnant october 18th i thought my period was supposed to come um but it didn't <laughs> obviously so um yeah if you haven't seen my my live pregnancy test and all that like you know see my full reaction and stuff like that um, I'll put the link in the description box below if y'all want to see it. Um, so yeah, but um, I do want to say thank you to everybody who's told me congrats and stuff like that. I didn't really have any negative responses really, um, so that's good. And I just want to say thank you for everybody who um, is supporting me and happy for me just as well as I am. So um, yeah, I will say ever since I've been pregnant, I've been sick as hell. Like na nausea and all of that has been like on 10. I haven't had that issue with any of my kids. Like I had a little nausea with both my kids, but not extreme. Like I feel like this is like severe, like top top of the line nausea. Suffering with it um, for a while until I went to see my doctor. And I know y'all like, oh, it's so early you saw a doctor. Yeah, I saw a doctor because a lot of doctors don't like to see you till you like almost in your second trimester or whatever but i had two trips to the er and i'm gonna tell y'all why sunday october 22nd i was cramping a little bit but i didn't think much of it because i know like in early pregnancy you could cramp like i mean it's normal but something told me to go go to the bathroom so i told babe to stop and he stopped at a gas station and i went in the bathroom and i i pull my uh, pants down to make sure I wasn't bleeding, which I didn't see any blood or, or whatever. So I was getting ready to pull them back up, but then something told me, girl, go pee real quick. So I went to go pee, nothing came out, no blood, nothing. But then when I went to go wipe, I saw fucking blood and I freaked the fuck out. I freaked out because I've had a miscarriage before. Um, I also, I vlogged that journey as well. Um, if y'all been following me for a long time, you know about this already, but if you don't, um, I had a miscarriage before my son. I also, um, like, did a video about that as well. I, I can, if y'all want to see that video, I'll post me right now as, um, private. But, um, I had a miscarriage before, so anytime I see blood during pregnancy, I'm automatically thinking something's fucking wrong. So, I told babe, I'm like, we can go to the ER, I'm cramping and I'm bleeding and I don't know what the fuck is wrong. So, of course, I started panicking and we had, um, we had to drop my son to my own house so they could watch the kids while we were at the ER, which was, like, just probably like a mile away from where they were we just went to the uh, closest one so we were in there for a long ass time but basically i'm not, i don't want to prolong this any longer than i should basically long story short the baby was okay i was okay it was just um the doctor said it was like the bleeding was caused by like the um the baby implanting in the uterus or, or something like that that's happens which is also called implantation bleeding um, that's normal and common for women to have and a lot of women mistaken that as their period but it's actually not a period it's just like a few drops of blood here and there and then it's, it's over with and that's exactly what happened it was a few drops of blood and then eventually it was over with like two days later it was over with, but i still like fucking freaked out um but i went to the um, er and they did me Gave, gave me an ultrasound i was only five weeks like no i literally just made five weeks on that day so i was barely five weeks 
um, so they did an ultrasound, but they couldn't see anything besides the sac because I was so early. Um, however, they did my blood work and my um, levels, my hormone, it's called the HCG levels. Sorry, my breath. That is a pregnancy hormone, if y'all don't know. Um, my levels were 2,832 at that time, which was good. So the doctor wasn't really too concerned because my levels were pretty normal for um, for the amount of weeks I was at the time. So the doctor just told me to follow up. My doctor was my OB in about two to three days, you know, for further testing because whenever they did the ultrasound, they did see like a little bleeding or whatever, like a little hemorrhage, but they wasn't really concerned. Um, they said that eventually it would go away. So I said, okay, cool. I'll call my doctor the next day to make an appointment because that was on a Sunday. So I called her on Monday to make an appointment. And at first it was like, oh, well, you're not 10 weeks, so we can't see you. And I said, well, ma'am, I understand I'm not 10 weeks, but I just got done from being in the ER and they told me to follow up with my doctor because I'm bleeding. And, you know, basically that's a threatened miscarriage. Wait, 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 wait. Um, so the girl just went ahead and scheduled my appointment. So she scheduled my appointment for that following Wednesday. Um... I get up in the morning, my appointment was like at 9.30, something like that. I get up, babe gets up, brings me to the doctor, and I go to sign in, and um, after I sign in, I was getting ready to sit down, I think I, yeah, I was getting ready to sit down with the lady wanted my insurance information, so I was writing my, um, my insurance information on there, and then another guy, another lady was sitting right next to her, standing right next to her, and was like, how far along are you? And I'm like, oh, well, I'm just five weeks. And she was like, well, um, doctor isn't going to want to see you because you're not 10 weeks and there's nothing she, that she could do or whatever. And I'm like, well, I just came from the ER and I was advised to see my doctor because I was bleeding. And the lady was like, well, again, doctor can't see you until you're 10 weeks. That's just policy, da, da, da. So at this point, me and the girl, me and the lady, the old bitch, yeah, she's the old bitch. I'm going to call her old bitch because she was fucking rude. We was fucking going back and forth for a little bit because I'm trying to figure out why the fuck she telling me I can't see my fucking doctor because I'm more than sure my doctor knew what was going on. She was going to want to see me regardless of how far along I was. This lady wasn't budging. She's like, girl, no, you now I'll see the doctor today. We're going to schedule you an appointment at 10 weeks. And I'm like, are you fucking serious? I said, so basically you telling me I'm just supposed to sit here bleeding, not knowing what the fuck going on with my baby. And she's like, well, you know, if it, pers if it persists, you can just go back to the ER. Ma'am, I just came from the ER the other day, and they just told me to follow up my doctor. What the fuck is going on? So, I just fucking left. Babe was sitting down, and I left. I said, babe, let's go. I left him and everything. I was so fucking mad because at this point, I was getting ready to hop over the counter. And I knew if I hopped over the counter, it wasn't going to be, like, pretty. So, I just walked the fuck out because I ain't got no time to be catching no case pregnant. So, uh, I just walked the fuck out, and I was mad as hell. Like, one of those angry feelings where you just want to you crying too like I, yeah all of that I was mad and I was fucking crying later on that day I called the doctor back I will talk on my doctor's office back and the um, nurse she um, answered, the, answered the phone I guess the same girl who originally scheduled my appointment um, I told her I was like ma'am uh, I just came from the ER I don't know what to do they told me to follow my doctor so I don't, I don't know basically y'all telling me I have to go sit back in the ER to see what's going on with my baby because like I don't like what, what do you so what do you suggest that I do so the girl was like well you know I can have because at this point I asked for the doctor I asked for her to have the doctor call me because my doctor I've been going to the same doctor for six years ever since I had my daughter she delivered my daughter when I was 16 so I've been dealing with her for quite a while 16 like six years now so I was like no this is this is not gonna work and I've never had this issue with her because with my other pregnancy, I was seen early as well. Whenever I lost my baby, um, whenever I had my miscarriage, she saw me early as well because I, I had my miscarriage at like five weeks. Like I wasn't, yeah, I was five weeks. I didn't even get to six weeks. And she still seen me and everything. So apparently this is some new thing that they was doing. But I didn't give a fuck about this new thing because I've been your patient for all these years. Like you gonna fucking see. Basically, I ended up going to the fucking ER that night because i wanted to figure out what was going on with my baby i wanted to make sure that my levels my hormonal uh, my hormone levels were rising because as long as my levels were rising that means my pr pregnancy was still progressing and you know healthy and stuff like that so i want to sit in the fucking er why i do that because i was in there for fucking like nine hours literally because i always go to this particular hospital it's the same hospital that my doctor is in the same hospital that i have my babies in like the same hospital that i've been going to for a minute and I've never had such a long wait ever, but it was, they got slammed, I ain't gonna lie, but um, well, they did my ultrasound first, 
saw the sack, of course. The lady also saw the um, hemorrhage or whatever, but she told me that she's seen it a lot and she's only saw, she's only had one patient who him, whose bleeding didn't stop and actually got bigger. So she wasn't really concerned about it. Um, and that made me feel a lot better, but I was really concerned about my levels because my levels was really gonna be the one that told me whether or not my pregnancy was progressing because still at this point they weren't able to see a fetal um, a fetal pole like anything embryo none of that they wasn't able to see the baby because I was so early they was only able to see the sex my blood test results came in finally after fucking eight hours my blood test results came back and my levels went from remember my levels were 2800 at my last visit that Sunday and then three days later whenever I went to the ER um, they were 9300 which is good because your levels are supposed to actually like double every 48 hours or something like that so whenever he told me it was 9,000 and some change I was like okay I'm good I can fucking breathe but he still told me to follow up with my doctor and I told the doctor and in the emergency room I'm like I tried to see my doctor today but um her nurse no. like my um my doctor told me that uh what the doc after I told the doctor that I was refused at my doctor's office, he was like, "What? I never heard of that." Well, I mean, he was like, "Yeah, I've heard of, you know, them wanting you to be a certain gestation, you know, as far as like the weeks in your pregnancy, but whenever you're having issues, that should be all, you know, voided, of course, obviously, because you're having issues and complications. Nobody want to be fucking bleeding when they're pregnant, especially at no fucking five weeks. That's scary as hell, right? And so he told me, well, just." Just try to call them and let them know that, you know, you were in the emergency room and stuff like that. They got, because uh, the first time I went to the hospital, I went to another hospital. But the second time I went to the hospital, I went to the actual hospital that my doctor was in. So she was going to automatically get, like, my records and all of that. Going to be able to see where I was in the hospital and all that. And for, for what reason I was in the hospital, they was able to see that. So the next day I called the doctor again. Um, my doctor's office and I talked to another lady and I, I was going through the same thing, you know, running her down, what happened from the time I went to the hospital to the time I fucking had to, uh, from the time I was refused by y'all office to the time I had to go back to the hospital. So the lady was like, oh, I'm so sorry, this and that. Cause I told her, like, the lady who, um, I spoke with, she was very, very rude and I was, um, I didn't know her name, but I described her to her. And um, she was like, oh, that's the office manager or whatever. She's the one who always always wearing heels. I'm like, I guess so. That bitch, like, she was the one who was fucking rude, basically telling me that bitch, I don't give a fuck about you and your bleeding ass while you pregnant because you're not 10 weeks, basically what you're telling me. So, rescheduling me an appointment for the 30th um, of October, which just passed. So, <laughs> um, like I said, I was having a lot of nausea and stuff like that. Um, so, like, I couldn't eat, y'all. It got to the point where I could hardly eat. I never, I haven't thrown up yet, thank God. I hope I don't ever throw up. But, um, it's, it was bad. Like, I couldn't even get up out of the bed. I didn't want to do anything. I was so weak because I wasn't eating, but I can't eat because I'm so nauseous. Like, all of that. Went to my doctor's appointment, and, of course, I saw my doctor. Um, and I was waiting to see that bitch. I saw her, actually, I saw the bitch, but I was waiting for her to make eye contact with me. But for some reason, she wouldn't make eye contact with me, and she ended, ended up fucking leaving anyway. So I'm like, okay, yeah, that's good, because I, I made, I was really, really gonna either fucking say something to her or just mean mug the shit out of her because I feel like that's unprofessional. You don't deal with no pregnant women. Like, we, I had people in a fucking office, like, in a waiting room. I didn't give a fuck. I'm still going back and forth with this lady trying to figure out why you telling me I can't check up on my baby? Like, I'm paying y'all. It's not like, you know, I'm f fucking getting seen by the doctor for free, bitch. Like, y'all are getting paid. So I talked to my doctor, explained to my doctor what's going on. Obviously, she already knew because, you know, my records were already, you know, in the system from me being in the ER. So um, what they did first was um, did another ultrasound. And at this time, I was five weeks. No, 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 no. At this time, I was six weeks. So I just had, that was, that was a few days ago. So this point, I was six weeks and one day, and um, did an ultrasound, and they were able to see the heartbeat. I wasn't able to hear it because she had the, the volume low for whatever reason, but um, I did. She whenever the um, ultrasound tech like zoomed in on the ultrasound picture, I can see like the little baby um, heart moving. Follow me on my Instagram. You've probably already seen this, but um, this is the first one if you can see it. Bam. I don't know. Damn, there you go, that's baby. Shut up. <laughs> I'm trying to cover my doctor, doctor name and stuff like that. Um, so, okay. There's a baby right there, the little peanut right there. Yeah, I don't know if y'all can see it, but that's that. 
I'll put a better picture maybe just go to my Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. Y'all need to be following me on there anyway. So, yeah. Um, and this, it up close. Can't, it's, can't really see, but she had a real gummy bear on there. But, yeah. Like I said, follow me on Instagram if you want to actually see the full picture, like a good, clear picture of it. But, yeah, I got we got to see the baby and stuff. I was really, really happy. They also did um, blood work as well. Um, but another thing, she still saw the bleeding. It actually, um, it turned into fluid. Because at first the doctor was trying to say it was a twin, I mean the ultrasound test was trying to say it was a twin pregnancy. But the doctor came back and she was like, no, it looks, oh, it just looks no. like. <laughs> she was like, you and babe, don't, you never know. Because uh, fluid, it could have been fluid, but it also could have been a baby back there. So you oh, never know. Yeah. Whenever I saw the, the ultrasound, I was seeing two little things. But babe said it was just split screen, so I don't know. We're going to find, find out. But the doctor said it was just fluid that is going to probably eventually go away. She said probably it was fluid from the bleeding. The doctor put me on this hormone, hormone pill um, called progesterone. Insert the pill transvaginally. Um, basically, I had to put it up there. So um, I got to do that twice a day at bedtime. So what I'll do is I'll, before I go to bed, put that in there. Um, and then I pee all night now since I'm pregnant. So whenever I get up to go pee, I put the other one in there. So that's how I do that. I'm not sure how long she want me, me to be on that. I assume until I go see her again two weeks from now. So the 13th of November, I see her um, that morning. Um, and she's gonna basically repeat everything. Um, and then I'll have my blood work results by that time. I could probably call before then and get it, which I'm gonna probably do um, now that I'm thinking about it. Um, just to make sure my levels are growing up, which I'm sure they are. I know they are, but I just like to know for myself. But taking it easy, basically. I haven't been bleeding um, much since that those last few days whenever I went to the ER, um, which is good. But they still were able to see it in my uterus, but I'm not. It's not coming out of me, which is a good thing. So, doctor wasn't um, too alarmed about that, but um, she does want me to take it easy and stuff like that because. Um, it's kind of considered as a threatened miscarriage, even though everything is fine. But she just wants to be extra careful, which is you can't you can't ever be too careful, right? So, um, whenever I explained to my doctor about my nausea, how horrible it was, she didn't prescribe it to me. She actually gave me samples of it. I don't know why she didn't prescribe it to me, but she gave me two bottles of it. Each bottle has twelve pills in it. I mean, it's called Di. I'm not even just gonna try to pronounce this word, y'all. I'll put it right here. And this is it right here. So, um, dicyclic, dicyclic, just girl, I don't know, something that's good as hell that works like magic, like for real. Ever since I've been taking these pills, these pills since Monday night, I have not felt nauseous since. Like, I kid you not. This, if you are nauseous when you're pregnant, if you're pregnant and you have issues, fuck Zofran because I thought Zofran was. The truth, hell nah. This shit right here, my nigga, yeah, like it it has helped me a lot and now I can finally eat, I can finally be myself. Like I'm not sick all the time. Yeah, I mean, she also prescribed me uh, prenatals, but she prescribed me the pills and I can't take pills. I had whenever I first got pregnant I bought the um pill prenatals, but I didn't like them because they make me they made me fucking gag. Like I didn't like them. So I got the um well babe got these for me, the uh, gummy prenatals. Uh, Spring Valley, they got um, dish A and folic acid, all that in there that I need, and you know that I would get in the same um, pill that my doctor gave me. But um, I barely even like taking these, to be honest with you. But um, I take them at, at night, so um, those help. Other than that, y'all, I've been okay. I've just been tired. Oh, another thing, this right here, it works really good, but it makes me tired. Um, that's the only downfall about the those pills that they make you really really fucking tired and I'm already tired because of the pregnancy so that right there just doesn't make it any better but it's okay we'll get through it so um for the most part that's it y'all so um, I guess I'll show y'all my stomach I'm a little bloated right now so you're lucky I fucking missed hello Why are you shit? because don't fucking ignore me what you doing I'm asleep, you ain't fucking asleep, Noah. You got me fucked up thinking you sleep. That's from the side. I'll update y'all again in another two weeks after my doctor's appointments. So keep me and baby. I don't know, you gotta give this baby a baby name for YouTube. Name suggestions. Well, not baby names, actual names. But 
nicknames in the comments because we gotta call this baby something. Uh, oh, I forgot to tell y'all, I'm due probably um, June 24th. My doctor didn't give me a due date for whatever reason whenever I went there, but according to like all the apps and stuff that they got, you know, it's simple to figure out your due date because you just go by your last period. So, um, according to that, my uh, due date would be June 24th. So, I'll probably have the baby about June 20th or something because my kids don't never come on their own. So, if this kid is like any of my other kids, he ain't going to, he or she is not going to be here until probably June 20th, something like that. I will see you in my next update. Damn. What? Yeah, I ain't been recording this whole time. That's what I'm talking about. Sorry, Jay. Are you lying to me? I'm being dead serious. Are you fucking lying to me? If I get up and this fucking camera is recording, I'm going to be mad. Bye, y'all, because I'm about to whoop his ass. <laughs> Damn, that shit popped up quick. Y'all. I guess, um, y'all see that? Because I've already taken a pregnancy test before. I didn't take it on camera because I thought it was going to be fucking negative. Like, I didn't want to do all of that just for a negative pregnancy test. I'll go ahead and put in a clip if I haven't done so already.